the graph okay notice that the displacement is uh, getting smaller and smaller so since the release of the projectile motion is zero zero over here okay so the displacement will appear to be negative so it's getting lower and lower now this is where it starts to get uh, pretty interesting when it hits the table the display the the ball will bounce back up and it will go up again and again the path is a quadratic so let's observe so it reaches its highest point then comes back down hits the table for the second time goes back up reach a height which is lower than the initial heights and then that's the third bounce now we will explore how to get the velocity time graph from the displacement time graph then we'll press the run button to observe so initially the speed is zero because it's released from rest so now uh, let's observe incrementally so as you see that uh, every time the gradient here is corresponding to a particular value of the velocity since the gradient is negative therefore velocity is negative because in uh, interactive physics like in most uh, software we assume the Cartesian plane so going up is positive so since the object is moving downwards therefore the velocity is negative uh, let's keep on going to observe what happens Okay, now when it reaches the point where it's about to hit the object, the table, okay, which is uh, depicted by this point here, so the velocity is the greatest, so some big value. Uh, now, after hitting the ground, suddenly, okay, suddenly, you can see that there's this very large contact force which the arrow uh, fails to show uh, because of the large magnitude. <coughs> and you can see that later on suddenly the next moment the velocity becomes positive which will explain why the object now rises or rises and then after that uh, once it reaches maximum position okay once it reaches maximum position you observe that the velocity will be zero okay then let's see what happens after that Okay. Now after this, you'll find that it hits the table for the second time. Okay. Then you get this uh, contact force again. Uh, Ft contact force. Then after that, the next moment after hitting the ground, the velocity it becomes positive. That means uh, the object will now move up, go up and come down again, and eventually it will. Uh, not move okay now we are going to observe again for the acceleration I'm going to stop the simulation after the third bounce okay now uh, let's look at, at time I have did some thing to the graph so that the, the view is maximum okay Okay, so what happened is this. Uh, let's look at the animation again, the simulation. As the object falls, it's falling at G. So you can see that there's this tiny red line which is slightly below the zero acceleration line. So this corresponds to negative 9.81. Okay, as you can see from the arrow here, A meaning acceleration. As it falls, acceleration is constant so which means that this is a horizontal line uh, but something happens when it hits the table oh, let's uh, 
get to that part. Okay, now for a moment in time to get the acceleration, you need to differentiate the velocity time graph. Now, because the velocity time graph from here to here is a very large gradient, oh, very large gradient, so which explains why that the object will have to experience a very large acceleration upwards in order to have this great change in velocity over this tiny little time. So, uh, because again f equal m a, so you find that the acceleration, because of this large acceleration, there must be a very large uh, net force, which is actually the contact force minus the weight of the ball. So the next moment in time after leaving the table, you find that the acceleration goes back to g again. That means the contact force, the total force, is only acting during the duration of impact with the table. After that, acceleration is back to g again. Huh? Let's see. So it's g all again, g all the while, come back, hits the ground. Okay, because of this large change in velocity over this little time, it will respect it will correspond to a very large acceleration. So you shoot up to some high value which is not shown. Then after that when it leaves the table, acceleration goes back to G. Then after that, the third bounce.